Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious New Orleans stuffed crabs. This recipe calls for you to make about eight individual stuffed crabs. It's a labor of love, full of flavor, and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all you'll need to make your New Orleans stuffed crab. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need three pounds in weight. That's about eight large, boiled, highly seasoned blue crabs. And along with that, you're going to need one pound of curled crab meat, 10 ounces in weight of French bread. Now, this is a New Orleans style French bread back here. If you don't want to use this, you can also replace this with freshly baked cornbread. You will also need some Italian style breadcrumbs. This is going to be for the topping. And along with that, you're going to need some salted butter, large eggs, and for your seasonings, you'll need one yellow onion, celery, green and red bell peppers, and some garlic. Now for our additional seasonings, these four seasonings right here is optional because most of our seasonings are going to come from our highly seasoned boiled crabs. All right. Now with that being said, you're going to need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now if you don't have this, you can use these Adirondack's Creole seasoning or the Slapping Mama Cajun seasoning. You'll also need some Chef Paul Padum's Seafood Magic, dry thyme, and some vinegar. And this is going to be used for the cleaning process for our crabs. And to bake your blue crabs, you're going to need an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I'm going to get started by chopping up half of a yellow onion. Here I have two ounces of green onion. And I'm going to just go ahead and chop that up. Make sure you chop the ends to your green onion as well. Next, I'm going to rinse off my celery, my green and red bell peppers, and my fresh parsley. Next, I'm going to chop about one to two ribs of celery. Next, I'm going to chop half of a green bell pepper and half of a red bell pepper. Okay, here I have two cloves of garlic. I went on ahead and cut them in half. I'm going to go ahead and take a garlic press and press the garlic. And there we go. All right, here we have our fresh parsley. And I'm only going to chop a very small amount of this. 0 0.4 ounces in weight is all you're going to need. And from there, I'm going to chop the parsley up until it is minced. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 450 degrees. All right, here's our French bread. All right, next I'm gonna take a serrated knife and I'm just gonna cut the French bread. From there, we're just gonna cut this in a quarter pieces. You're only gonna need about four to five ounces of this French bread. And from there, you're going to take your cube bread pieces and you're going to add them into an 11 by 17 inch baking pan. Now let's put this in the oven. Place this into a preheated 450 degree oven on the bottom rack. Bake this for 8 to 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 8 to 10 minutes now for our bread. Now let's go ahead and move this out of the oven. Let the bread cool completely. Okay, let's crumble our breadcrumbs. So in the large food processor, I'm going to add my bread cubes right on in there. Blend or pulse this for 30 seconds. And from there, the breadcrumbs are ready. Now, before we get started with cleaning our crabs, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a fork, a spoon, a butter knife, a serrated knife, and a chef's knife along with your chopping board. Okay, and here we have separate bowls. This is one bowl with our crab meat in it from our boiled crabs. And from there, we're gonna take the parts and we're gonna make a crab stock with that. And over here, we have a bowl with our cleaned crab shells. All right, here we have our crab. Hello. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the crab over and we're just gonna remove this right here. And we're going to place this into the bowl with our crab parts. Now that we have that removed, from there we're just going to open the crab. Alright, and from there we're just going to uh, remove the arms off the crab. 
I'm going to just set this on the side for later. Now, some of the crab's digestive tract is right here. We're just going to take a spoon and just remove that out as much as possible. This is the lungs of the crab. So we're just going to carefully remove that. Same thing on this side. And this is going to be a part of our crab stock. So we're just going to add that into the bowl with our crab pieces. And from there, I'm going to take my chef's knife and I'm just going to cut this in half like that. And from there, I'm going to take this part and I'm going to cut it in half. All right, so in here, there's where the crab meat is. So I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to remove the crab meat. Should be fairly easy to do. Crab meat should come right on out, just as you see here. And from there, most of the crab meat should be removed from the shell. And from there, you're going to take the shell. We're going to place it into our bowl with our crab parts. And you're going to do the exact same thing to the other two pieces from the other side. You see the crab meat is in between the grooves. So you just take your fork and just carefully remove the crab meat from the grooves. And once done, you're going to take your crab shells and you're going to place that into your bowl with the rest of your crab shells. All right. Now, here is one of the crab claws right here. What we're going to do here is we're just going to crack the crab claw. All right, and from there, just remove the shell off. From there, take a fork and just remove the crab meat from the shell. It's just that simple. Now, as for the smaller crab legs, these might have little to no crab meat in it. So you just take it and you just twist it like that and then just pull it out. You see, they really don't have, they have little to no crab meat in them. And from there, you could just take a fork and just pull the crab meat out of the shell. All right, and from there, you're going to take your shells from your crab claws and you're going to place that into your bowl with the crab parts. Next, I'm going to inspect the crab meat just to make sure that there are no hard particles or shells in the crab meat. And of course, you want to discard those uh, hard shells and particles that might be present. Now, once you finish inspecting the crab meat, you're going to take it and you're going to add it into this small bowl here. Make sure you keep your crab meat shells and particles in the refrigerator or freezer to keep them cold. This also prevents spoilage. All right. And this is our crab meat after we finished um, taking it out of the crabs and preparing it. Now, the weight of this all together is eight ounces, a half a pound. Now, of course, we're going to need a little bit more than that. So we're going to combine the other crab meat that we had that we bought from the grocery store with this one to make our crab meat dressing. All right, here we have our crab shell here. Now, what we're going to do is just going to take a spoon and we're just going to start digging out the insides of the crab, just as you see here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to just discard this. All right, next, I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to get in between these corners here. Just take the fork and kind of pretty much scratch onto the shell. And as you can see, there's some film on there that kind of peels that off. And I'm just going to take my spoon and I'm going to just discard this right here. Now to remove the uh, crab's eyes, you just take a fork, the edge of the fork, and just dig that out. Okay, next I'm going to take a sharp serrated knife and I'm going to get into those corners of the crab shell. Make sure to get all that debris out of there. Same way for the other side. Just take a knife and just dig that on out. Now I'm going to rinse my crab shells off really well with cold water. Alright, let's get started with soaking our crab shells. So in this large tub where I have eight cups of cold water and to that I'm going to add one third cup of vinegar and I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Add your crab shells into the vinegar and water solution. Let this soak for 15 to 30 minutes. All right it's been about 30 minutes now so we're going to go ahead and just remove our shells from out of the water and from there we're just going to take some napkins and we're just going to clean the shells off really good. Be able to remove some of that off there. Same thing on this side here. And there we go. All clean. 
That's how the inside looks here. I did the best I could to clean it out as much as I could. Yeah. Preach your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with making our crab stock. So in this medium sized pot, I'm gonna add about five cups of water. I'm gonna let this come up to a simmer. Okay, our mixture's just now starting to come up to a simmer. So I'm gonna add my uh, crab shell pieces. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this in here while I'm at it. That's from all eight of the crab. Hmm. I'll just stir that. Let this simmer for 30 minutes. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now for our crab stock and it is done. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, here we have a medium sized bowl with a mesh strainer in it. I'm going to pour my crab stock mixture into the mesh strainer along with the crab shells. I'm gonna just pull this out and just shake it. And make sure that all the juices from the crab drain and from there, we're going to discard the crab shells and claws. And there we have it, homemade crab stock from scratch. Now, once done, you should have about two and one half cups of crab stock in here. All right, let's get started with making our crab meat dressing. So in this large saucepan, I'm gonna add four tablespoons, that's a half a stick of salted butter. Just add that in there. I'm gonna just spread this around and I'm gonna let that melt. Okay, now let's add some seasoning. We're gonna add a half a cup of chopped yellow onion, a half a cup of our chopped scallions. This is the ends to the green onions. About one third cup of chopped celery, one third cup of chopped green bell pepper, and one third cup of chopped red bell pepper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir all the ingredients together. Now I'm gonna let this saute for about eight to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about eight to 10 minutes now. I'm gonna add some more seasoning. We're gonna add about one fourth cup of our chopped green onion, one tablespoon of our pressed garlic, one and one half pounds of crab meat. Remember the eight ounces, the half a pound of crab meat that we got from our boiled crab and crab claws and the extra one pound is the amount that we got from the grocery store. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. Stir all your ingredients together. Let's add some more seasoning. I'm gonna sprinkle about one fourth to a half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth to a half a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. One fourth to a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Seafood Magic. A half a teaspoon of dried thyme. And one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Stir all your ingredients together. Now you want to be careful with adding the seasonings. You don't want to add too much. Just add a little bit and that's it. Now you're going to go ahead and turn your fire off. All right, next I'm gonna add two third cup of our plain bread crumbs. Remember the bread crumbs from our French bread. Stir all your ingredients together. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup of crab stock. Stir all your ingredients together. Now from here, you can add more crab stock or more bread crumbs as needed. Now we're gonna let this cool off for about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, and for the final step, all right, so in this measuring cup, I have two large eggs at room temperature beaten. I'm gonna just add that in there. Now I'm gonna just stir all the ingredients together. Just gonna stir this until the egg has combined with the dressing. And after that, the crab meat dressing is ready. All right, here I have some melted salted butter in a pastry brush. I'm gonna just go ahead and take that and I'm gonna brush the inside of the crab shell with the butter. And from there, we're just gonna take the filling and we're just gonna add it into the crab shell. All right, and this is how our stuffed crabs look once we fill them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 425 degrees. Okay, here I have some melted salted butter with a pastry brush. I'm gonna just take the butter and I'm just gonna brush it on top of the dressing of the stuffed crabs. I'm 
And as a final garnish, we're going to slightly sprinkle some Italian breadcrumbs right on top. Now they are ready to be baked. Place this into a preheated 425 degree oven on the middle rack. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes now for our stuffed crabs. Now let's go ahead and remove this out of the oven. Let these cool for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after that, they are ready to be served. And for best results, you can serve these the very next day. So that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. And there you have it. New Orleans stuffed crabs made by New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for these delicious New Orleans stuffed crabs. You can go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to greet and take a bite. Look at that. Man, oh man, this is so flavorful. The dressing has a wonderful crab flavor. Just the right amount of seasonings, not overpowering at all. And you could taste the flavor from the crab, um, from the crabs that were boiled. You could really taste that. But the dressing is soft and moist. It's the right amount of flavor. Despite the overall labor I put into this dish, it is absolutely worth it. Delicious. So, give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.